Nathan, congratulations. Thank you very much, Georgia. 40 under 40 winner. Thank you, it's very exciting. I know you are a restructuring expert. I imagine you've been extremely busy in the past few years. Well, certainly the, the, the economy has lent us many opportunities. Um, I'll say that, that from our perspective, we think that you know the, the financial crisis itself, as far as the systemic risk to our system, is probably um, we're almost out of the woods with a couple exceptions you know Europe could drag us back down and if our government decides to do something strange what it is want to do that could also put us back in but we still have the the hangover of the bad economy and um, while certainly some of corporate America has figured out how to do more with less and cut costs and cut employees you know there's certainly segments of the economy that are still far over levered that still have restructuring to do and you know, for instance we're looking at you know retail big box retail right you used to go into these stores and you see the TV and you buy the TV now you go into the store you see the TV, you and say you that would look online, like right? you buy it online. Exactly. Right. That the big box retailers are essentially showrooms for the internet now, and obviously that's not a business model that can uh, that can work. Um, in addition, we're looking at you know government contractors, and we're pulling out of, of uh, overseas. The military's coming back. You know the municipalities they don't have they don't have the money to do the projects and the public works that. Um, they did in the past, mm -hmm. and so the government contractors is another sector we're looking at. And then, of course, there's the perennial health care, which, you know, health care is, what, like a sixth of our economy. And every time someone turns a dial in Washington or makes a change in the regulation, that just cascades throughout the whole health care industry, and so that's always given us some... Um, some feet. How surprised were you that the case went to the Supreme Court to even be heard? Maybe the health care law is even unconstitutional. I know. That's creating a lot of uncertainty in the environment. And, you know, people say that if it's if it survives, there's going to be some chaos in the industry. If it fails, there's going to be some chaos in the industry. <laughs> so okay. in either event, I think that's a good situation for people like me. All right, Nathan, congratulations again. Thank you so much. Nathan Hayes joining us there. Thank Greenberg you. Charles.